we serve a good God. I said, we serve a good God. Aren't you glad to be alive in the land of the living? <laughs> I feel like we're in the frozen land this morning. <laughs> you know, us Bahamians don't like too much cold weather, but I kind of like the cold weather better than the hot. But anyways, God is good though, isn't is? Aren't you excited? Come on, somebody, put your hands together and let's give him praise on this morning. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Oh, Father God, come on. And you know today's the beginning of our 21-day fast. Amen? For some of us, it's, it's partial. For some of us, it's going for broke. You're just going all the way. Glory to God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise on this morning. We give you glory. Come on, pray with me, saints. We give you honor this morning, oh God. Lord, you gave us a promise that 2024 is the year we make a comeback. We stand on it. We believe the prophetic word. You said, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, and so shall you prosper. Father, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that as we enter into this 21-day fast, a corporate fast, as a local body and an international body, an online body, we pray for mighty breakthroughs. Come on, pray with me, saints. We pray for mighty breakthroughs. We pray for great outpourings of the Holy Ghost. Move by your power, Lord. Move by your Spirit. God, things that we have been believing you for that seems like it wouldn't move, we pray that it would move. Demonic walls, we pray that it would come tumbling down. Every giant that's standing in our way, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they would be slain and trampled under our feet in the name of Jesus. Every demonic limitation. Come on, pray with me, somebody. Come on, I want you to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every demonic limitation. Every demonic limitation, we break it. We break it in the name of Jesus Christ. We break it. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break it. We break it. We break it. We break it. Shika ramando lobo kushata rababa sete ramamaha shanda la 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 lobro kushama ramande de besika rababa ha rondo lorono boko shata ramamande. We break it, every demonic glass ceiling, every spirit of limitation. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break it, we break it, we break it, we break it, we break it. We pray for those, we pray for those who seems like they couldn't get a release financially. God let him get the release during this 21-day fast. Work miracles, confirm the word with signs following. You made us a promise in your word that some of these things can only come out by prayer and fasting. Lord, you said in Isaiah 58, is not this the fast that I have chosen to break the bands of wickedness, to let the oppressed go free and that you break and destroy every yoke? Do it. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you this morning. We glorify you this morning. We magnify you this morning, oh God. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Do a work in our hearts. Do a work in our minds. Do a work in our spirits, God, during this next 21 days. Do a work in us wherever we fall short. God, cleanse us, wash us in the blood, purify us. David said, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Move, God. Move, God. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. Speak to us. Give us direction and clarity for our lives. Oh, God, we want your perfect will to be, in a, to be accomplished in us and through us, God. Move on this 21-day fast. 
move. Take us to another dimension. Take us to another level. Take us to another level of understanding, insight. Take us deeper into the Word of God. We pray that we would become more sensitive to the Holy Ghost. God, we pray that our prayer lives would go to a whole nother level. We pray, God, that our relationship with you, Lord Jesus, would be, would be much closer. We pray that we would fall more in love with you, Jesus, more in love with your word, God, that we would go back to our first love, that we would run back to the secret place because you promise us in your word, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely, he shall deliver us from the snares of the fowl and, and the noise and pestilence. He will cover us with his feathers and under his wings we will trust. His truth will be a shield and buckler. A thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Purify us, God. Do a deep work in us. Do a deep work in us. Do a deep work in us, God. We surrender to you afresh. We surrender to you afresh. God, break up the follow grounds of our hearts. Break it up, God. Break it up. Do a deep work in us, God. Everything in us, in me, that would hinder the Holy Ghost, that would hinder the breakthroughs, cleanse us. Begin with me and Pastor Amy, the senior pastors. Do a work in us. Do a deep work. We say, have your way in us, God. Have your way. God, as we commit this entire 2024, we commit it into your hands. We say, not our will. We say, not our will, but your will. Come on, somebody. Come on, pray with me. Not our will. Not our will. Come on, talk to him. Not our will. Not our will. Not our will. Not our will. Break bondages, God. Break bondages. Break bondages in our lives. Break bondages in our lives. Strongholds, we pull it down in our minds. Our spirits, our soul, our bodies, we pull it down. We pull it down. We are not going backwards. We are going forward. The Apostle Paul says, we forget about those things that are behind and we press toward the mark of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Do a work in us, God. Do a work in us. Rokobo shikarababasia. Ramando loboko shatarababa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And now, devil, we bind you. We bind you. Come on, open your mouth and pray, saints. We bind the devil in the name of Jesus. Every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places, we bind you in the name of Jesus. Every foul and unclean spirit, every witchcraft that would come against us, every demonic distraction that has risen against us lately, we break it. We break it. We bind every lying devil that's been robbing your people that come to divide and conquer. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You said, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You said in your word, no weapon formed against us. We'll be able to prosper in every tongue that rise against us. In judgment, we condemn it. Lord, your word says, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. God, your word says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Lord, your word says, you are of God, little children. And you said, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. We cry out to you, God. In the name of Jesus, 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 glory to God. In the name of Jesus, give your people a breakthrough, God. Give your people a breakthrough, answer their prayer. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, give us the strength, God. Give us the strength physically to push through this 21 days. Lord, we want to see real change. We want to see breakthrough on a dimension that we've n never known. You said, eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of a man. The things which God has prepared for those who love him, but God has revealed them unto us by the Holy Ghost. David said, I humble my soul with fasting, God. We thank you that fasting is a tool to crucify the flesh. Fasting is a tool, God, to, to just destroy the noisiness in our minds and in our spirits and bring us to a place of humility and, and brokenness. You said a, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Oh, God, you will not despise. We present our bodies this morning as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable act of worship. Move, God. Move, 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 move. In the name of Jesus Christ, move, God. Move, move, move. God, and we pray. We pray for miracle healing. Send a church family. Give us our own building this year. It's on the top of my list. Give us our own building. Give us our own. Listen, why don't you? Listen, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm doing this a little different. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Come on, I want you to pray. Tell God. Tell him what. Give. Uh, the Bible says, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. Tell him, what is it you want God to do for you? When, when you, you know, whenever you fast, you got to have a focus. I have my own personal list for me and my family and for the ministry. Amen. You got to have a focus. You, we, we're not fasting blind, blindfoldedly. Amen. But we are fasting for God to move in our midst. We are fasting for God to give us new territory. We are fasting for a breakthrough in our hearts, in our minds, our spirit, our soul, everything that's been blocking us, everything that's been standing in our way, personally, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. We are praying that God, during this 21-day fast, that he would destroy it in the name of Jesus. I know, but one of the things on the top of me and Pastor Amy's list, we believe in God to give us a building, amen? We are praying that God would open the door and make a way for us to have our own church building so we can set the instruments up once and for all. We believe in God to have a building, to have maybe one or two studios in it, amen? Officers, are you listening to me? Nothing, no case is too hard for God. I said, no case, no case who believed that with me on this morning. I said, no case is too hot for God. Glory to Jesus. Before we go into worship this morning, I want to read something to you out of the book of Joel. Glory to God. If you didn't know it and you're tuning in this morning, I ask everyone to I announce it on Thursday for all of us to begin a 21-day fast on today. Amen? And how, how you do the fast is between you and God because I, some people are on medication. Some people, some people have never done it. If you've never done it, there's no way I'm asking you to do that. Hello? But use wisdom. If you can fast half a day, if you can fast a meal, do something. Do something. Amen? God's going to honor it. There's different types of fasts. But I want to read something to you this morning from out of the book of Joel, chapter 2. Give me a second. I want you to see this. I was going over this last night, and I tell you, it's been refreshing. Amen? It has been refreshing. Uh, verse 28 for me, Josh. Now watch this. Bring the music down a second. I want you to pay attention to this first line in this verse. I want you, everyone, look up at the scripture here on the screen. Notice what Joel prophesies. He says, and it shall come to pass, everyone say, afterward. Can everyone type those words down? Afterward. I want everyone, I mean, I want you to take, take note of that word, afterward. I may really, I don't know, I may, I may really take my time and break this down on Thursday and may spend some time here. 
I want you to pay attention to that word afterward. Anytime you see the Holy Ghost mentions the word afterward in the Bible, that means that something preceded that that he is requiring us to do if there's going to be an afterward. Am I making any sense? There, there are certain criteria and conditions that have to be met before there can be an afterward. Are y'all still here? Are, are y'all tracking with me? Come on, somebody. Are, are you hanging with me? Go back to that scripture. Pull it back up there. I want, I want you to see this. I believe the Holy Ghost is trying to help somebody here this morning. He says, and, and it shall come to pass afterward, watch this, that I will do what? Notice he said, I will pour out my spirit. I'll pour it. Notice he didn't say I'll pour it down. Big difference. Huge difference. He said, I will pour out my spirit. I'm going to pour my spirit out upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Keep it right there. Your young men shall see vision. So we know dreams and vision. Visions is the result of the Holy Ghost. But I want you to focus on that word, how he says, and it shall come to pass afterward. Now I want you to see this. Go into the book of, go, go into chapter 1 of the same book for me, Josh. Go into chapter 1, verse 14, because I want the Lord's people to see this here. Notice what he says in, in chapter 1. Are y'all hanging with me? He says, sanctify you a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Come on, somebody. Gather the elders. <laughs> it starts in the church, doesn't it? That's what we are doing. We, we are being biblical. We are being scriptural. We're doing exactly what he asked. He said, sanctify you a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. Next Sunday, our service may, complete, may, may be totally different. We may just pray the whole service until this 21 day for the next several Sunday services. We may just pray the whole time until church is out. Are y'all hanging with me? He says, sanctify your fast. God, didn't he say my house shall be called a house of prayer? He says my house shall be called a house of prayer. Go back to that scripture. Let me read the whole thing. Verse 14. Sanctify your fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. Go to the next verse for me, verse 15. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as the destruction from the Almighty shall it come. But I'll tell you what, who knows that, who knows that fasting and praying can turn some things around. Watch this. It's not the meat cut off before Isaiah, joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seed is rotten under their clods. The garners are laid desolate. The barns are broken down for the corners with it. But hold on, Josh. Just stop right there. Stop right there. I want, I want, let me look into the camera. So what God was telling them is God was saying, you see all this craziness happening around you? There's a way to turn things around. Begin to fast and pray. Come on, somebody. Who, who would say, Pastor Sean, in my life, in my marriage, I'm seeing things in my life that I don't want there. I, I'm, having a, I'm having financial struggles that I want to see a turnaround. Come on, somebody. Come wave, wave at me. Talk to me. Let, let's be real. Well, guess what? Guess what? He said, you want to see a change? Jump into fasting and praying. Because, go on to verse 25 of chapter 1. Go into chapter 2, beginning at verse 23 for me. Josh, I'm going to read this to you guys before Hannah begin worship here. He says, Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the f a totally different story from chapter 1, huh? But something had to happen that made the transition. 
Are you listening to me? For he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Glory to God. I'm a Gentile. I'll take that as January. Go into the next verse for me. Go into the next verse. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with, with wine and oil. Verse 25. And I will restore. Oh, who, who needs some restoration in their life? Glory to God. Go back to it, verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the, that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Sometimes he allows us to deal with stuff. Verse 26, I love it. And you shall eat in plenty. <laughs> I, who, who would say, Pastor, my, I, need, I need some increase in my bank account. Come on, somebody. <laughs> He's given us, watch this, he, he, he's given you the playbook, like Edwin liked to say. He says, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that, that has dealt wondrously with totally different, totally different saying from chapter 1, that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Glory to God. Verse 27, and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. And we know God was speaking directly to Israel, but we know we can apply the same principles to us. Amen. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed. And then verse 28, you see it? Go, go into it. And it shall come to pass afterward. Do you see that? Do you see that? But the afterward means that something precedes it, which is prayer and fasting and crying out to God and sanctifying you yourselves and consecrating and, I mean, going into the house of God and crying out to him. And guess what? God will begin to turn things around. And I listen, I'm sorry, I'm being pretty specific on this. I'm believing that God to see some things begin to turn around in the next 21 days. Come on, somebody. Who is in agreement with me? Come on, put your hands together and give him praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, put your hands together and give him praise. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Let, let me just show you one more before we go, before we move on. Because I, I, I want you to understand you fasting for a reason. You are fasting for a purpose. Go into the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6, Josh. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Here it is. This is the Lord talking. He said, watch what he says here. He says, is not this the fast that I have chosen? Who chose in fasting? Fasting didn't start with man. This is God's wisdom. This is God's strategy. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Why? What's the purpose of it? To loose the bands of wickedness. I have someone struggling in the fight of their life spiritually. Guess what? Fasting breaks that bondage. Come on, somebody. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens. Who would say, Pastor Sean, I've been dealing with some burdens I need burdens lifted off my shoulder come on talk back to me somebody talk back to me who said pastor Sean I've got some burdens on me that I need it I need I need burdens removed from off my shoulder I, I feel like I'm I'm carrying some heavy stuff and I need to see a breakthrough in certain areas well guess what guess what he said this is why I've chosen this fast go back to that scripture for me Glory to Jesus. Is not this the fast that I've chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to undo them? That means to remove burdens off of you. And to let the oppressed go free, and that you break, destroy every yoke. Glory to God, my Lord and my God. Glory to God. Go to verse 8 for me real fast. I want to read that. I got to read that. Then shall thy light break forth. You see that? There's always fasting got to take place first. And after, you do, after you're done fasting, then shall thy light break forth as the morning. 
and your help shall spring forth speedily. Do you know fasting and praying and seeking God opens the door for healing, supernatural healing to take place in our physical bodies? It opens the door to healing. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. And your health, your health. Every one of us got some type of health challenge. Your health shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rare, your, it actually says re-reward, but it means rare God. Amen? God, will, he'll, God he'll, he'll watch your back. Isn't our God absolutely awesome? Are you, ready to, are you ready to fast and push all the way through? I'm believing God. I'm believing God to work in your lives, people of God. I'm believing God to work in your lives. And maybe the next few weeks I'll take a whole, I'll take a whole broadcast and teach on the results of fasting. Amen. What all do you get out of it? Because the more, when, when, when you are on a fast, the more you hear about the benefits, the more it strengthens you and encourages you to keep pushing because now you, you can see a list of what you expect to come out of it. Come on, somebody. Every time I'm fasting, I like to hear about fasting because it keeps my flesh subdued. It keeps me pushing. It, 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 keeps, it keeps a mark in the front of me that I want to hit. Come on, somebody. That's why I'm reading these scriptures to you this morning, taking my time and getting them down in your spirit and in your mind. Somebody put your hands together and give God a praise as we turn this over to Hannah to come and lead us in worship. Glory to God. Spoke the earth into motion, my soul now to stand. And you stood before my failures, and you carried the cross for my shame. My sin weighed upon. So what could I say? And what could I do? But I found this heart, oh God, completely to you.
Thank you, Jesus. Sing that again. I'm not enough. Glory to God. Bless you, come. Will you make me here again? you sing that song for me, and it's in the room. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus.
because you're in the room, Jesus. Fear has to go when you're in the room. Worry has to go when you're in the room. Anxiety has to leave when you're in the room. You're in the room, Jesus. Come and fill this place, Jesus. Come and fill this place, Jesus. Come and fill this place, Holy Spirit. Come and fill this place, Holy Spirit. Come and fill this place, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Take all of the praise, Jesus. We glorify you this morning, Jesus, because you are worthy of our worship. You are worthy of our praise, Jesus, because you are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We magnify you, Master. We magnify you, Jesus. We glorify your name. We lift you on high, Jesus. We lift you on high. We exalt you, Master, because you're worthy. You're so worthy. You're so worthy. We glorify you. We glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We magnify you, Master, because you're in the room. Whatever you need, he's in the room. Whatever you need, he's in the room. He's in the room. You're in the room. Our Father, here is us. You're in Come on, somebody, put your hands together and give him praise. Glory to God. Come on, come on, come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we love you. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Tell him, have your way. Glory to God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Have your way. Come on, saints. Have your way. Have your way. Come on, sing it to the king. Tell him, have your way today. We love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Tell him, have your way, have your way. No part. Everybody lift your hands to heaven and worship him on this morning. Tell him, let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let 
winter winds blow, Lord, fill this place and have your way. Let your fire, let your fire. We need the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody help us worship Him this morning. Tell Him, let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your wind blow, Lord, fill this place and have your way. Let your fire. Let your fire fall this morning, God. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Tell him, let your fire. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. She called my Lord, 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 Feel this place. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your winds blow, Lord. Feel this place. Let your fire. Let your fire fall. Let your winds blow, Lord. Fill this place and have your way. Tell him, let your fire. Let your fire fall. Let your winds blow, Lord. Fill this place and have your way. Tell him, have your way. Have your way. Yes, Holy Ghost. Have your way. 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 Tell him, send your glory. Send your glory. Send your glory. Send your power. We won't move until you do. We need your spirit. We need your presence. Come and fill this place. Have Come on, sing it again. Send your glory. Have your way. Have your Come on, somebody lift your hands to heaven have and tell them, have your way, Jesus.
Tell him, send your glory. Send your glory. Send your power. We won't move until you do. We need your spirit. We need your presence. Come and fill this place. Have your way. Sing.
tell him we give you all the glory this morning. We give you all the glory. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy to be Somebody help me give the king praise on this morning. We give you all, all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Glory to God, we give you all. We give you, we give it to you this morning, Jesus. Come on, somebody, lift your hands to heaven and talk to the king. Glory to God, we worship. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you this morning. Come on. We give you all, all the glory. We worship. Glory to God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Come on and worship him, saints. We give you all, all the, the glory, and we worship. We love you, Jesus. We love you with our hearts, our minds, our soul, our bodies, and our strength. We love you. We love you. Sing it to the King. We give you. Oh, oh, no. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Come on and sing it to him. We give you all. All the glory we worship. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody help me worship him. Somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yerabashanda nadadabakasa. Glory to God. We give it to you this morning. We give you all, all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. 
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you. We give you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. We love you this morning, O oh God. We honor your presence, O oh God. We love you with everything in us. We give you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. We don't take you for granted at all. You are worthy to. Just one more time. We give you all the glory this morning. We give you. Who can sense the presence of God here with us on this morning? All the glory. And we worship. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Come on, just another time. I feel him so close to us this morning. And we give you. Come on, somebody, lift your hands to heaven and give it to him. All the glory. And we worship you, our Lord. And you are worthy. We give you all this morning, Jesus. We give it all to you. And we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody help me give him praise. Somebody help me worship him. Somebody help me magnify the King of Kings. We give it to you, Jesus. We give it to you. We give it to you. And we give you all the glory. We worship you. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Come on. And we give you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. All the, the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are Come on, give him praise this morning, saints. Glory to God. Are you sensing his presence with us on this morning? Glory to God. Isn't that what it's about? He said, wherever two or three of you come together in my name, he said, there am I. I'm right there. I'm right there in the midst of you. Blessed be the name of Jesus. This morning, before we jump into the Word of God, in which we do have a word from God this morning, don't lose your focus. Can someone open your mouth and declare it? Don't lose your focus. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're talking about tapping into the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen? We're going to look into the life of Elijah and Elisha on this morning. And you talk about the transfer of the anointing. The transfer of the anointing of the Holy Ghost is absolutely real. Glory to God. Some of my favorite prophets to talk about. But before we jump into the word we want to receive this morning's offering, let's go into Luke 6. 
No, you know what, Josh? Let's go to Philippians 4.19. Philippians 4.19. Go straight to verse 19. The Apostle Paul said, but my God. It's so personal. Paul said, but my God shall supply. Glory to God. How much? All your need. Come on, someone say it. All. How much is he going to supply? All. How much? All. But my God shall supply all your need, all of it. And it's according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And look, the word supply right there literally means to cram. <laughs> Amen. Now, you know what? Let me, let me just give you verse 13 because some people missed this. Go to verse 13 for me, Josh. Verse 13 of that same chapter. Glory to God. I'm working him this morning. <laughs> Blessed be the name of Jesus. I can't wait to get into the word here. Amen. I just want you to see this here. You see this verse right here. A lot of people take this out of context. You see that verse right there? I can do all things through Christ. You know why Paul said that? Hold on, slow it down. Bring it down some for me. You know why Paul made that statement right there? Earlier, Paul was saying he know what it is to abound, and he know what it is to be a base. Paul said, I know how to survive with an overflow of abundance. And I know how to survive when there's a lot. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Are you all still here? Paul said, guess what? Whether I have a little or a whole lot, it doesn't matter because I can. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, somebody. He said, I can do all things through Christ. Whether I'm broke or whether I have plenty, I'm going to make it because I can do it all through Christ who strengthens me. Go straight back to verse 19. What a promise. Paul said, but my God, and he was talking to the people who were tithe pairs. He was talking to the people who supported the ministry of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was talking to people who literally did their part of the gospel. Are you hearing me? We have a part to play. Most people want to jump over their part and come straight to, but my God shall supply all. No, it didn't work that way. You got a part to play. But Josh, while we're here, why don't you go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. I'd just, I just like to remind all of us, we, we got a response. We, we have a part to play in whether we are blessed or not. Notice what he says, and it shall come to pass. Everyone's, everyone typed the word if. <laughs> The whole thing hinges on that one word right there, if. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, what? That the Lord thy God will do what? Set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Glory to God. I'm sorry, y'all. This, this stuff gets me. I'm sorry. I start tripping and getting all excited and flipping out. You know, I mean, I get excited th to think that Andrea is that powerful, that Task is that powerful, Sister Dawn is that powerful, Pastor Steve is that powerful, that God said, if you do your part, I'll set you high above all nations of the earth. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus. Go back to verse 19 in Philippians 4. I love my, I love my Bible. I believe this book. But my God shall supply. He's going to do it. The word supply there literally means he's going to cram it on you. And I know what Paul meant when he said there were times in his life when he had to do it all. We know what it is to have little and we know what it is to have a lot. But who would say, Pastor, this morning, I need him to cram it on me. I need him to, I need, I can use a good cramming. 
He'll supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we all prepare to give in this offering on this morning, we pray in the name of Jesus as we give in obedience, as we pay our tithes, our offerings, our love gifts, our donations, as we support the preaching of the gospel. Do exactly what you say you're going to do. Cram it on us. Supply our every need. Every person on this tuning into this broadcast right now and that will watch the rebroadcast, meet every need in their life. Give them a financial breakthrough. Give them a miracle of provision. Some people don't need money. They need favor. Do it. Whatever it is that they need, blow their minds. You are faithful and just. Blow their minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say amen. To give in this offering right now, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry app. Many of you have it on your smart devices. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zelle account. That email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder ministries you can also text to give all you have to do is text the letters s p m to 45888 you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 2726 mckinney texas 75070 can you sing that song for me, Waymaker, Miracle Worker? Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, My God, that is who you are.
Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we prepare our hearts and our minds and our spirits to go into the Word of God on this morning, we pray for wisdom, we pray for knowledge, we pray for revelation, we pray for insight, we pray for great understanding. Help us to use the Word of God to discern exactly what season we are in and what it is that you are doing in our lives and what you are about to do in our lives. Just just speak to us through the word. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. We want your perfect will to be done in and through us and let the anointing of the Holy Ghost descend on everybody under the sound of my voice this morning, and let your perfect will be done. In the name of Jesus, somebody say amen. I dare someone to open your mouth and say, speak to me through the word. Come on, come on. Say it, speak to me through the word. Don't lose your focus. Glory to God. Don't lose your focus. Don't. It's a temptation Thanks. It's a temptation to become very distracted. There's a lot going on. Amen. There are distractions. (laughs) There are attacks. There's death. There's grief. There's pain. There is agony. There's a whole lot that's going on that can totally throw you off course and sidetrack you. You got to you got to fight to stay focused. Who you know what I'm talking about? Come on, come on. There, 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 there's, a, there's, a, there's a prize in the front of us. There's a, there's a goal in the front of us. My wife can tell you, when I have a goal in the front of me, you better get out of my way. Come on. <laughs> get out my way. I, 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 listen, I, I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm driven to accomplish certain things, especially when the Holy Ghost put it in the front of me. I, I don't believe in allowing nothing to stop us. Now, what we're about to go into is Second Kings chapter 2, verse 1 through 15. But before we even get into that, let's give a little background of what's happening. We know God sent Elijah in the book of First Kings chapter 19. God sent the prophet Elijah to go and anoint Elisha to take, to take his place. God said, anoint Elisha, the son of Shaphat, 
who will be prophet in thy room or prophet in your place, in your stead, because I'm preparing to take you off the scene. And when I do, I want Elisha to have already been trained on how to operate in that same anointing. Are you listening to me? And it's amazing because the Holy Spirit, through the gifts of the Spirit called the Word of Knowledge, told Elijah exactly where Elisha lived, gave him his address, the name of the town, the name of the city, gave Elijah, Elisha's dad's name. (laughs) Come on, somebody. The Holy Ghost can get all up in your business. Come on. I'm telling you, he, he he is so detailed. I remember one night, uh, probably about two years ago on one of the broadcasts, the word of knowledge really just was manifesting very heavy that night. And the Holy Ghost began to give me the exact street and the name where this lady who was watching the broadcast in New York, where she would drive on this part of the street. And the Holy Ghost allowed me to see this woman in a car and exactly what she was saying. I mean, that woman flip out. Come on, somebody. She, she, I'm here sitting here in Texas, but the Holy Ghost is letting me see exactly where she is and what's going on in her life. Who knows? That'll just blow your mind. Come on, somebody. The whole, I dare someone to open your mouth and say the Holy Ghost is real. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> My God. And you know, in the last days, God's, God promised that we're going to see a, an intensification of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Now, uh, now look, come on, let's, let's just keep it real now. I know we fasting for a whole lot of things, but I'll tell you one of the things I'm believing God to do on this fast is to intensify the gifts of the Holy Ghost in our lives. Who know what I'm talking about? Oh, my God, my God, I'm excited about it. I'm believing God to intensify, to intensify the gifts of the Holy Spirit in operation in all of our lives. And what happened is Elijah went to the exact place that God told him Elisha was going to be. And when Elijah showed up, Elisha was plowing. With 12 yoke of oxen, he was helping his father run his business. Of course, Elisha was next in line to inherit his dad's wealth, his dad's business, the whole night. But Elijah showed up out of nowhere. (laughs) And when the prophets show up, when the prophets show up, Every common person knows something's about to happen if someone like Elijah showed up on the scene. And when Elijah showed up, Elijah cast his mantle on Elisha. My God, cast his mantle on him, and then Eli- Elijah just Elijah just took off. And you know what Elisha did? Elisha took off behind Elijah. Glory to God. And Elijah Elijah turned around and said, what are you doing, bro? What did I what what did I do to you? Elisha said, "Just give me one moment. Let me go home and kiss my mom and dad and tell them goodbye." Now wait a minute, y'all. I, I y'all following this story? This, this 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 is a little too much for me. Amen. But I'm gonna give you some personal examples so you can hang with us and get get the meat out of what we go what, what we're talking about. Elisha. He must have been praying. He had to have been seeking God about what God wanted to do in and through his life. There is no way a man that, that you only heard of and never met personally is going to show up and throw, throw a big old cloth over you and you're going to just leave your parents leave everything behind. I'm talking about he was supposed to inherit his his dad's business. He was going to leave all of that behind to go off to Elijah. And Elijah said, what did I do to you? And Elijah said, the Holy Ghost did something to me. (laughs) Can someone open your mouth and say, the Holy Ghost did something to me? So Elisha turned around, went back home. Now, you know what he did with his 12 yoke of oxen? He took his yoke of oxen, his oxen that would help him plow in the fields, and Eli- Elisha went Texan. He had a big old barbecue. <laughs> he killed all of his oxen. 
He had he had brisket. He had beef ribs, oxtail. Oh Lord of mercy! I know the Jamaicans about to start speaking in tongues when they hear about oxtail. Glory to God! So Elisha just he 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 just he cooked all of his animals, had a big celebration, and told everyone, "See ya, I'm out of here." Lord have mercy. This man gave up. He gave up wealth. He gave up property. He gave up possession. He was next in line. Elisha walked away from all of it to follow after Elijah because when Elijah placed that mantle on Elisha, there was an impartation of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the call of God exploded in Elisha's life and Elisha said, I'm going to have to walk away from all of this to follow after what God's about to do in my life. Now watch this. Remember Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like a man searching for goodly pearls. When he found it, what does he do? He goes and sells everything he has so he can purchase that field where the pearl of great price is. Are you listening to me this morning? Can someone open your mouth and say, don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. I, I'm not, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you don't have, oh yeah, you need to work. If you don't work, you should need. But I'm talking about when something divine, when something supernatural, when an encounter happens, when God reveals to you his plan and his purpose for your life, you need to make up your mind to go after it with everything that's in you. I believe I'm talking to somebody here this morning. Come on, somebody. I dare someone to open your mouth and say, don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. People, it, it, it blows my mind and how easy it is to become distracted. I'm telling you, at least at least two or three times throughout the year, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost have to help me to to to, to maintain or get back on track and to refocus. Because when the come on somebody, when the attacks begin to happen, when life begin to begins to happen, you become sidetracked and distracted, and you need the Holy Ghost to reel you back in. Come on, am I, am I right about it? Am I right about it? Elisha had left everything like the apostles to follow after Elijah. Are you listening to me? Elisha was actually known as the man who poured water on the hands of Elijah. He knew what it was to serve Elijah. He was true to, to being a, to being a protege. Are you, a protege. Are you listening to me? A protege I heard a man of God said, a protege wants want what's in your heart. A parasite want, wants what's in your wallet. <laughs> a big difference. Amen. I dare someone lift your hands to heaven and say, I want the anointing. Glory to God. I want the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I want the power of God. Now, let's, 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 let me just take my time and just lay some more groundwork here. You got to understand this. Listen good now. Whenever the Holy Ghost wants to take you to a whole nother level, a whole nother dimension, a whole nother realm, whenever the Holy Ghost wants to take you to another level, guess what he does? He sends somebody into your life. Glory to God. You can't do it by yourself. When God ready is when God gets ready to bring you to another level, he sends a person into your life. I love it. Some of the scenes of old say when the student is ready, the teacher shows up. Glory to God. When God sends somebody in your life, a, listen to me good, y'all. A person, a person coming into your life represent the beginning of something new. Oh, glory. Can I, can I teach the word? I feel the Holy Ghost right here. Can, can I take my time and teach? I said when the Holy Spirit, when, when the Holy Ghost sends somebody into your life, it is a sign and a signal that a new, something new has just began. Are you listening to me? Can, can someone lift your hands to heaven and say something new has begun in my life? Glory to God. 
something new. So God began to work in the life of Elisha. Elisha began to see things that he never thought he would see. Elisha began to hear things that he never thought he would hear. Elisha began to see miracles in, b- before his eyes that he never dreamed that he would see. Think about this. He went from the natural straight to the supernatural when Elijah showed up into his life. My God, my God. Elisha walked away from family. He walked away from, from he, he literally walked, he turned his back on everything to zero in on the call of God. Paul says, I forget about those things that are behind and I press towards the mark of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Now, this brings us into 2 Kings chapter 2, when Elijah was getting ready to go up into heaven, Josh, don't, don't, do, uh, do you have that list? Don't pull it up, just said. You have my list, Josh? Perfect. Watch this. So now Elijah is getting ready to leave the scene. He's getting ready to, to pass the mantle on to his, to his disciple called Elisha. And as he's about to do this, Elijah is about to visit certain places. Amen. He, he's about to visit certain places that has that has great significance in the in the life of Israel as a nation amen but i want you to pay attention to this because as we look at the places that Elijah visited with Elisha and we go through the list of all the things that took place in those certain geographical locations, it is going to help us, it's going to help you and I discern where we are and what it is that God is doing in our lives. Are you listening to me? Or what God is about to do in our lives. Let's go into Second Kings chapter 1. Let's jump into the word here. Glory to God. And it came to pass... When the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Let me read that again. And it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Let me look into that camera. Now watch this. Gilgal, Gilgal has a place of great significance. Joshua, want to want to start that? Want to bring that list up there for me? Do we have it one by one? Oh, that's good. Look, let's go through this list. I want I want to point out eight things to you about Gilgal. Pull that list in there. Watch this, y'all. Now look, remember we make these notes available, so you don't have to try to write everything down. We we just hand these notes to everybody. We attach them in the app and on our website, and you can always download. But if you want to take notes, go for it, because you may start hearing some things. Amen. So go for it. Guess what? Guess what happened at Gilgal, Saints? Guess what happened at Gilgal? The manna. This is the place where the manna ceased. God said, I'm ready for you to grow up now. You're going to have to learn to work your faith a little harder. I ain't going to just be dropping bread around the tents for you. Oh, uh, Lord, have mercy. I'm talking to somebody already, Lord Jesus. Listen, at Gilgal, the manna ceased because as long as manna was just appearing around their tents, they, it, 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 they weren't growing. They were just, they, they became spiritually lazy, so to speak. Come on, somebody. Not only that, not only that, at, at, not only that at Gilgal, ha, had God not done this, they would have literally become ungrateful and begin to take God's provision for granted. Ah, uh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Who am I talking to? Have you ever seen somebody took the, this, the, the provision of God for granted? I said, have you ever? Have you, have you ever been guilty of taking God's provision for granted? D- listen, don't don't take for granted that you wake up every day and you waking up in a nice bed, a nice apartment. Come on, somebody. Your electricity is on, the heat, whatever. Come on, somebody. You, you'll be amazed how you can begin to take the provision of God literally for granted. So at Gilgal, this is under the leadership of Joshua, God said, no, I'm not making manna a pair now. You're going to have to work your faith. 
Come on, somebody. Lord, have mercy. I don't believe I'm going to get through this message today. It's going to be a part two, maybe three and four to this. Are you listening to me? Because Gilgal is a place where you got to grow up. Come on, somebody. Remember, I talk about the eagle who begins to snatch the feathers out of the nest, and all they're doing is they're getting stick by the, by the briars in the nest. Gilgal is a place where you got to grow up. Come on, somebody. Who, who would say, Pastor, I feel like God's trying to take me to another level. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. The manna ceased at Gilgal. Ah, <laughs> God says, God said, no more are you going to just live on miracles. Not that miracles ain't necessary, but you're becoming too dependent on miracles. You're going to have to work your faith. You're going to have to learn to sow and reap on purpose. Come on, somebody. If I just keep, if I just keep making bread a pair, you will never take out a pickaxe and dig a hole in the ground and plant some seeds. I'm going to teach you how to sow. I'm going to teach you how to water, and I'm going to teach you how to gather the harvest on purpose. I don't know about you, but I tell you what, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, come on, help me out here, y'all. You feed him for a lifetime. And I believe God's trying to bring some of you to a place where you can determine Determine the size of the harvest that you're going to get. I dare someone to lift your hands to heaven and say, thank you, Jesus. Now watch this. Let's go back to this list. At Gilgal, the manna ceased. Are you all still here? Guess what else happened at Gilgal? The cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night departed. Why, why, why did the, wait, 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 wait. Hang with me, y'all. Why did the cloud by day? And the pillar of fire by night departed. I'll tell you why it departed. Because God was ready to teach them how to walk by faith and not by sight. Are, are y'all, wait, 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 wait. Are y'all still here? As long, as long as, as long as, as they looking up for the white day, every, every, every couple of minutes they're looking up, is the cloud moving. Guess what? They were bound by sight. Are, are y'all still here? They, they were bound bound by sight. Yeah, it was a good thing. It was a supernatural manifestation, but all they knew how to do was, was just walk by sight. God said, that's growing up time. I got to teach you how to walk by faith. And when the night time came, God said, you, you looking for pillar of fire. Now you going to have to go by, you going to have to trust the inside. You going to have to trust the word of God. You going to have to lean and depend on the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Who am I talking to? Glory to God. Can someone open your mouth and just say it's growing up time? Can someone type in the live chat and say, darling, <laughs> it's growing up time. It's time to go from glory to glory, from faith to faith. My God, from a little anointing to a greater anointing, from a follower to becoming a leader, somebody shout. Do lose your focus. Hey, she can't remind all of a course. I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God, my God. So, so it was at Gilgal. God said, God said, it's growing up time. It's growing up time. It's you, you got it too easy. Lord, have mercy. Have you, I, 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 listen, I've been there. I'm telling you, I've been there where I had it so easy that, that I just, I just took things for granted. So God said, you know what? You, you getting, a, you, your prayer life, man, your, your prayer life starting to just, you, you ain't really, you praying, but you ain't pressing in. Who knows, boy, Lord, have mercy. You, 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 let God light a bonfire up on you. You'll pray the walls down. Come on, somebody. I mean, come, you won't even need the alarm clock to get you up at 2, 3 in the morning. You get a bit. Come on, come on, somebody. Come on. You, 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 you plug right in. But, but some of you have, have become late. I'm talking to somebody. Some of you have, have started to get a little lazy in your walk with God, a little lazy in your time in the Word. So God says, well, I'm a, I'm, I'm I'm going to I'm have to light a little fire up under you. Who knows that nothing can get you praying like when the devil turned the heat up. Come on, somebody. Who, who knows like you can fast for 21 days easy when all hell is... <laughs> 
life when, when all when all hell is breaking loose. You, I mean, you can go 21, 40 days with no trouble whatsoever. So, so Gilgal is the place where God say, you've been walking by sight. I, I got to get you in the spirit. I, I got to get you. I, I got to teach you how to use your faith. You, you got to walk by faith. Are you listening to me? So the pillar departed and the cloud, the, the pillar of uh, the cloud that was by day and the pillar fire by night, it departed. And not only that, God said, I can't just be dropping manna down. You're too lazy. All you do is just rub the stuff on your eye and pop the tent door open and go to grabbing. God said, no, when you go to grab tomorrow, ain't nothing going to be there. You're going to have to work for it. Come on, somebody. Ah, oh, Lord, have mercy. Are you still here? It's amazing. You never miss the water until the well go dry. I tell you, them old people were smart. Come on. I dare you to open your mouth and say, don't take the anointing for granted. Don't take the Holy Ghost for granted. Don't Take the move of God for granted. Lord, have mercy. That's why some people can just be in the flesh and get mad. They don't even realize what's in the front of them. God's moving. The anointing is moving. Miracles are taking place, and they want to despise. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Let me keep moving through this list here. Watch this now. Go back to that list. Ah, Jesus. Now watch this. Gilgal, it is also a place where the Israelites who came out of Egypt, who were not circumcised, they had to be circumcised. Pain. Are y'all still here? Pain. It's it's a place. It's a place. The, 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 the word Gilgal actually means the place of rolling away. The, God says, this is the place where I'm going to roll away the reproach of Egypt that was on your life. Are you listening to me? God said everything that Egypt had done to you and, and to the point now where a whole generation had died and a new generation of Israelites had been on on the scene, but but this new generation, they were following Joshua, but they hadn't been circumcised. The place Gilgal is the place where where the covenant with God between Israel and God w- was renewed. So they literally had to be circumcised. Circumcision is painful. That's that's it represents it represents that's the place where where death comes to the flesh. That's the place where where certain relationships. That's the place where certain relationships have to die. Are you listening to me? Gilgal is a place where, where the flesh, where, the, where there is separation, where, 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 where some stuff that's attached to you, you, do, you just don't need it. You got to renew your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Come back. That's what he said in the book of Revelation. You need to return to your first love. Who am I talking to? Come on here, somebody. Every now and then the Holy Ghost say, hey, you ain't praying like you used to, son. You ain't spending as much time in the Word as you used to. You're getting too distracted. I, I need you to press in. Lord, help me, Jesus. Let's, let's go back to the list. My, 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 my. So it's known as the place of rolling away. Go, go to the fifth, six, seven, and eight, Joshua. It is also a place of, of new beginnings. Gilgal is a place of pain and learning to walk by faith, not by sight. It is a place also of healing because after they were circumcised, they had to they had to stay there for a, a season where, where they would actually where they would be healed. Are you listening to me? You you can't go to battle after you just got circumcised. No, darling, you you got to stay there for a minute and heal. I properly remember Joseph. You remember Jacob's sons pulled the wool on on some of them fellas who who they. They went. One of them went slept with his sister and wanted to marry his sister. And, I mean, Jacob's sons. They got mad. They say, "If you want my sister, the whole camp have to be circumcised." Now these fellows were being really devious. And after those men circumcised themselves, Jacob's sons attacked them and killed all of them. That that was wicked. But anyway, let's go back to my list. I don't want to go there. Watch this. Let's go back to the list. Watch this now. 
This is a place where they learn to sow and work the soil and reap their harvest. So at Gilgal, it's the place of rolling away. God says, I'm going to take the reproach that, that was on Egypt, the, the oppression, the depression, the, the memory was still there. God said everything that ever took place in your life, the slave thing, the just all of it, the hurt, the pain, the agony, God said, Gilgal, this is the place where I'm taking away your reproach. Come on, somebody say, God, take it away from me. I feel the Holy Ghost reminding me of something. Give me a second. I, I, I got to go here in the book of Isaiah. This is for somebody. Lord, help me, Jesus. Take me straight to it. Give me one second. I, I got I to gotta read something out of the book of Isaiah. I believe the Holy Ghost is wanting to speak to somebody through this. Just hang with me for a minute. Ah, there it is. There it is. So I want to read this to you. Go to Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. Give me a second, Josh. Don't don't pull it up just yet. Let me let me pull the scripture up. I'm hearing this other whole scripture. I gotta just I gotta read it. Give me a second. Y'all, y'all keep praying for me now. I, I need you to pray for me. Believe God with me. Let me pull this scripture up. Come on. Give me one second. I'm turning there. I'm going as fast as I can. Yes, that's the one I want. Isaiah fifty four, verse four. Go there for me, Josh. Lord have mercy. Watch this. Now I'm teaching, but you know the Holy Ghost is he jumps in there and helps me out. This word is for someone because remember, Gilgal means the place where God takes away the shame and the reproach and the pain and the agony and the even the because when you think about certain things it brings back the the memory can can tr- can can almost re traumatize you and stir up certain feelings. But guess what? He says, Fair not. For thou shall not be ashamed. Glory to God. God says, I'm going to remove, the, I'm going to take away the disgrace off of you. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shall not be put to shame. Are you listening? For thou shall forget the shame of thy youth, and thou shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. God says all the shame, all of the negative that happened to you, j- just a just just memory of it. God said, Gilgal is the place where I'm going to take away your shame. Can someone say, take it away from me, Jesus? He is re- Gilgal is the place where God begins to renew your mind. God said, the shame my God, are you listening to me? He says the, the shame, the agony, the, the, the pain, the, the, the memory, the suffering. God, God says, God says, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to roll it away. Can someone take a towel and say, take away my shame. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. The agony. The pain, God, God says. God says, "I'm going. I'm going to remove the shame, the, the suffering, the disgrace that, that that took place in your life. Just just the 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 mark of it, the effects of it on your life." God says, "I'm taking it all away." Glory to God. Watch this now. Let's keep it moving because we got we got to get through as much of this as I can. Let's go into verse two of Second Kings chapter two. Is this is this helping anybody here? Is anybody is anybody being helped? Up this morning is the Holy Ghost talking to you through the Word of God. These places, uh, these these places had had great had great significance in the in the lives of the nation of Israel. And now, guess what? <laughs> now I believe the Holy Ghost is using the Word to help us locate ourselves spiritually. Let's move on to, to, to verse two. And Elijah said unto Elisha. Tarry here. <laughs> wow. Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. He's laying him off. He's giving him a chance to he's giving him a chance to see if he's going to 
abandon the anointing or or lose his focus of of why of why he left everything to run after Elijah I'm telling you on this journey God is going to give you all kinds of opportunities to to turn back if you want are you listening to me he he said look e- Elijah Elijah said Elijah said, you can actually, you, you can stay here while I go on. You, you, you can park and become comfortable at this place and quit growing and, and quit, quit, quit uh, progressing in God while I'm moving on with God. I dare someone to, I, I, I must steal Earl, Dr. Earl Roberts out of how to say, don't park here. <laughs> Come on. Can someone say, don't park here? There's more. There's greater things in God. There's deeper things. Can someone say, there's more? There is so much more. Don't park here. So Elijah put that scripture. So Elijah said unto Elisha, tarry here. He's given him an opportunity, Tasker and Edwin and Andrew and Jeffrey and Naraz, all the way in India, my, my spiritual son there in India. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. To everyone watching this broadcast, he has actually given him a moment. Elijah is testing Elisha to see what he is made of, to see if he is going to qualify to Tap and break through into the anointing of God that's on his life. Ah, Lord, have mercy. I'm telling you, here it comes again. Some, now, Elisha passed the first test because he walked away from everything to follow after Elijah. But this was test number one. Are you going to tarry here? For the Lord has sent me to Bethel. Ah, Lord, have Jesus. Lord, help me, Jesus. A lot of people come, oh, God said me, I left this place, I left that place. And the first fire, <laughs> and we say in the Bahamas, bush crack, man gone. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Uh, yeah, God said you all right. <laughs> he said you out of here. You're right, he said you. <laughs> A revolving door, jump right in and go right back out the way you came. What? Watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't, can't I keep it real. Yeah. E- Elijah, Elijah, e- Elijah, Jeff, Jeff been in the ministry with me a long time. People come, they shout, they holler, they scream, they roll over on the ground, they speak with other tongues. They, they act radical in the first fire. Uh, Jesus, the first fire. They go, I mean, they, <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. The, the first fire. <laughs> so, so Elijah, I'm, can, I, can I have fun? Because I really, I really want to wanna re- really teach and preach. I, I want to do both. Watch this. Pull that scripture back up. Elijah, Elijah, you, you, I, I hope you're listening. Elijah, this is a place where you're going to be tested. Elijah said, tarry here. He gave him an opportunity to turn back because God want to see what's your motive. Yeah, yeah. What is your motive? Why are you here? So Elijah said, tarry here. Let me see if this boy can handle it. Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha, smart young man, Elisha said unto him, as the Lord lives. <laughs> Can someone open your mouth and say, as long as God is on the throne. And as thy soul liveth, as long as breath are in your lungs, I ain't going nowhere. I dare someone to open your mouth. Say, Pastor, as long as you follow in Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. My, 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 my. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. As long as you follow in the Holy Ghost. As long as you obey him, the Word of God. As long as you are led by the Holy Ghost, count me in. I dare someone to open your mouth. Say, count me in. Count me in. Jesus, he looked at his apostles. When the crowd had turned their back on him, when the crowd 
had walked away from him. Jesus said, are you going to leave to my God? The apostle Peter says, Master, to whom shall we go? You got the words of eternal life. I'm in it to win it. I'm in for the long haul. I'm here because the Holy Ghost told me to be here. Elijah, don't even try. You can't get rid of me. I'm after the prize. I'm focused on a deposit. I'm focused on a transfer. I'm focused on the call. Come hell or high water. I'm going to hang in there. For the Bible says, count it all joy when you fall into diamonds temptations of various kinds for the trying of your faith it works patience shout yes shout yes shout yes somebody jump to your feet I feel the Holy Ghost somebody help me preach a minute Joseph somebody jump to your feet and said, I ain't here for silver. I ain't here for the gold. I'm not here for popularity. I ain't here, Elijah, because you're becoming well-known. I'm not here because a big crowd is following you. I can care less about the crowd. I got my eyes on the prize. I got my eyes on the mantle that's about to drop. I'm after the impartation that's about to come into my life. I ain't gonna lose it for nobody. Let Tom go. Let Dick go. Let Harry go. Let Velma go. Let Gloria go. But I'm going to hang on. I'm going to hang on to the horns of the altar. I'm going to keep serving. I'm doing what God has called me to do because I'm about to receive a whole ministry. I'm about to receive a miracle anointing that's going to transform nations shot yes I'm hanging on I'm hanging on somebody grab a towel say I'm hanging on I'm hanging I'm hanging I'm hanging Elijah I ain't going nowhere since God sent you into my life, I done climbed up higher. I've already climbed to another level. The anointing on my life have increased my time and understanding in the Word of God. I've already gone to a whole new level. My mind have been renewed. I'm not the same person that I was since God sent you into my life. I'm going to hang on. I'm going to hang in there. I'm going to hang in there. Like Ruth clung to Naomi and said, your God will be my God and your people going to be my people and where you go I'm going because I'm hungry after the anointing I'm hungry for the power I'm hungry for change I'm hungry I'm hungry shot I'm hungry that's why Jesus said bless are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall 
be filled. I'm hanging. I'm hanging. I'm sticking. I'm going to remain faithful unto death. Only death can separate us. But until then, until then, I'm in for the long haul. I'm in it to win it. Shout yes. Shout yes. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. I dare someone to open your mouth. Say, don't lose. Don't lose. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Pastor Eva, don't lose it. Naraj, don't lose it. Maria and Brandon, don't lose it. Edwin and Andrea, don't lose it. Jeff and Melanie, don't lose it. For nobody, don't lose it. There's a test that's before us right now. But I got my mind made up. I'm going to pass this test. Somebody prophesy. Say, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Though he slay me, yet I'm going to trust him. You can't send me away. Don't even try, Elijah. Don't even try. There is something you got that I need to take to my generation. If I leave now, I will leave prematurely. It's like a caterpillar in the cocoon. As long as he is spinning, Edwin, as long as he is turning, Larry, as long as he is struggling, guess what? He is being transformed into a butterfly. If you got it together, go somewhere else. I'm looking for somebody that's struggling in their cocoon. I'm not going to break the cocoon and help you get out. Because if I break the cocoon and help you out, you will never become the butterfly that God intended for you to be. If I help you out, you will never be the man of God, the woman of God, that God intends for you to become. But as a coach, as a pastor, as a mentor, I can come by your side and say, hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. I know the going gets tough. I know the going is getting rough. But keep on struggling. Keep on turning. Keep on turning. Keep on turning. Because your wings are about to appear. The struggle, it can't kill you. The struggle is sent in your life to transform you from a caterpillar, from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Shout yes. Somebody jump to your feet and start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. turning. Make me. Make me. Mold me. Shake me. Change me. Renew my mind. Help me, Jesus. Shout yes. Shout yes. I'm growing up. I'm growing up. Somebody, someone's wing is beginning to form. Someone show out your right hand. Say one wing. One wing. One wing is starting to come. And if I hang in there just a little while longer, another wing is going to show up. Be not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is that good 
and acceptable and perfect will of God. I stop by to tell somebody, hang in there. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on life eternal. It's going to be worth it after a while. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. I'm on my way to a greater anointing. I'm on my way to a greater power. I'm on my way to a whole new level in God. I can't turn back now. I got to keep on following when Jesus was headed to Jairus' house. The Bible says somebody came with bad news and said, Jairus, why trouble the master any longer? Your daughter is over. It's over. But I dare somebody to open your mouth and say, fear not, fear not, fear not. Only believe, Jesus said, fear not, only believe. I know it's tough, I know it's rough, but keep on walking with me, keep on walking with me, keep on walking. We walk by faith and not by sight, for faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Shout yes! Shout yes! Glory to God. Korabakashata. Mambro koshetelebe. Rabanalabakasaya. Shandolorobokose. Glory to God. Intense. Rabanolobokoshiata. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Listen. Listen. Elijah say you ain't leaving me here at Gilgal. Uh-uh. You see Gilgal. Gilgal is also the place where you're being tested. At Gilgal. God gives you a chance to go back. I remember telling my mentor, Apostle Carolyn Cooper, I said, I'll follow you until you quit breathing. Why? Because God places, you know, people, I'm not following a man, I'm following God. That's not even biblical. I'm sorry to burst your spiritual bubble. But that's not even biblical. It's not. It sounds good, but it's unscriptural. The Bible says about Moses and Aaron, by a prophet, he brought Israel out of Egypt. Who did they follow? They were following. Yeah, they were following God, but they were following Moses whilst he followed God and tell them what God was saying. Believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Jesus said, I'm sending you. Watch this, y'all. That's what he said to his apostles. He said, I'm sending you, and he that receives you. Watch this. I want you all to see this. This is where church people get in trouble. Can I take my time and teach and pour my heart out to y'all? We're about to wrap up. He said, he told his apostles, he said, I'm sending you. And Jesus said, he that receiveth 
you receives me. Wait, wait, I want y'all pay. I want everyone to look up. I want everyone to look up into the camera. I want you to pay attention. This is, this is huge. Jesus said, I'm sending you, and whoever receives you receives me. Are y'all following this? And he that receives me, Jesus said, they receive the Father who sent me. Well, wait a minute. What if you reject somebody who Jesus sent? If you reject someone who Jesus sent, you are actually rejecting Jesus, and you are also rejecting God the Father who sent Jesus. You, you see, he, God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they works through the chain of command. Are you all still here? God didn't jump over Moses and Aaron and told Joshua, while Moses was alive, what the next move was. Uh -uh, that ain't how God operated. Hell, are you all still here? He actually went, he actually went, he told Moses and said, you go tell them. Are you listening to me? Now, of course, in the New Testament, we all have the Holy Spirit living in us, but God have, has, has a chain of command. God have set them in the body of Christ, first apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, for the work of the ministry, for the perfecting of the saints, that you would be no more like children tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, but that you may come to the fullness of maturity in Christ Jesus. He uses men and women to bring us to maturity. I'm not following a man. I'm following God. Well, good luck. Let's see how that work out for you. Let's see how that work out for you. And you're wondering why so much people's lives are, are destroyed. He said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Can someone open your hand like that if you're on Zoom? The mighty hand of God. The hand of God. The apostle. The apostle, he, he touches all the ministries. He walks in all of them. And then you got the prophet. He's always pointing. You have the apostle. You have the prophet. You notice this middle finger is the longest one above all. That's the evangelist. He's called to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And you see that ring there? That ring finger? The, 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 ring, the finger of commitment? That's the pastor. He's married to that congregation. He's committed to that local body to bring them up into maturity. And the small finger, that's the teacher. The teacher can go into areas in the Word of God that will literally blow your mind. A teacher can dissect the Word and bring revelation knowledge and inside out that will, that will, that will, I mean, it take your prayer life to another level, your fasting life, your time in the Word to a whole nother level. And he said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. The hand of God is the fivefold ministry. You're not following a man? Good luck. If you ain't submitted to spiritual authority, you ain't no match for the devil. Because James 4, 7 says, submit yourselves. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. <laughs> Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Are you all still here? Don't lose your focus. The Holy Ghost is, he's warning people. Don't lose your focus. God sent me here. I came from here. And the minute, the minute the test began, I'm telling you, I remember in Bible college, me and Pastor Amy talk about this a few days ago. In Bible college, I remember the first day at school, me and Pastor Amy was in the same class. I mean, the classroom was packed. And I remember looking around saying, wow, there's a lot of people in this class. I was only 22 years old. This was 28 years ago. And right in the middle of talking, the Holy Ghost interrupted me. The Holy Ghost said, you see all these people in this class? The Holy Ghost said, hardly any of them are going to be here when it's time to graduate. I thought, what? Many are called, but few are chosen. Come on, somebody. Many are called, but so I, I'm gonna give you the scripture now. But let me let me tell you what happened. When it was time to graduate from Bible college, you know how much people graduated in that class that was packed. It was only five of us who graduated 
out of a class, pad jam with people. And whenever the professor would be teaching, some of them would, enter, they had more to say than the professor. Man, a few times I wanted to grab my desk and crack it over someone's head. But they were just interrupting the, the teacher the whole time. I'm thinking, man, I didn't come from the Bahamas to hear you. I came to look, you, you. I'm sorry, y'all. Can, can I just, can I keep it 100, Edwin? <laughs> I'm thinking, they had more to say than the professors. And when it was time for graduation, all of them folk who had the most to say were nowhere to be found. Pull the scripture out for me, Josh, Isaiah 48, 10. I'll give you this, and we'll bring this session to a close. But we will continue. Is anybody getting anything from this? Don't lose your focus. Did, did that, hold on, did that, did that, did the uh, things that took place at Gilgal, did it resonate with anybody? Talk to me, my Facebook family, YouTube family. Did, did, did it resonate to anybody what all takes place at Gilgal? And, and as we go through these different places where Elijah stopped with Elisha, at every one of those places, Elijah gave Elisha the opportunity to turn back. Ministry is no joke. The anointing and the power of God in people's lives, it's, an, it's this ain't a game. God is going to check you out real good to see if you really can be trusted with the anointing and the power of God. You're dealing with people's lives. You're dealing with people's eternal salvation, their eternal soul. That this ain't a game. And at every turn, Elijah gave Elisha the opportunity to turn back. And Elisha turned him around. Elisha said, no way. And what, what, what I see happening in the body of Christ, there's a lot of <laughs> half caterpillar, half butterfly with a cocoon hanging on them trying to minister and <laughs> my, my kids are laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I just keep it real? I, I, I see folk running around with a mic, one wing out the cocoon, the other one ain't finished forming yet, half caterpillar, half butterfly, so they look like a monster in the pulpit. How are you going to tell me how to walk through the process when you yourself hadn't even been processed? Come on, somebody. Th this, this is a journey. Th th this, th this, this takes time. It takes time. A and if you be, if you be, <laughs> Mama Flora Grant is on here. I love, Mama Flora, you know we love you. <laughs> she said, tell them, Pastor, I'm trying, I'm trying. But, but, but look, listen, if you just sit, if you just sit, it's not going to take long. It it's really not going to take long. Be, 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 I, I see the Holy Ghost starting to use some of you in the next, I mean, in the next 90 days, I see the Holy Ghost starting to use some of you. But, but the thing is, is you can't, don't turn back if you, if you turn back, you reset the clock. Come on, somebody. If you, if you, if you move before your time, you will reset as oh, that Larry and Quan Laquan kids. God bless y'all. That's my little homeboy right there. <laughs> Is that yeah? God bless you, Quad. I, I call him five dollars. I'll tell you all about that another time. <laughs> five dollars. How you doing, brother? <laughs> but listen to me, good. You, you got to hang in there. God's forming you. God, some of you are about to step on the launching pad that will launch you into your destiny. God's about to blow your mind. So much is happening in your life. Stuff that you've been believing God for years. It's happening in you. Who, who can feel the whole atmosphere in your life? Come on, come on, talk back to me. Who can, the whole atmosphere in your life. I've shifted. And warfare, warfare doesn't mean, warfare doesn't mean that, that you are out the will of God. In fact, warfare confirms because you don't see giants until you enter 
the doorstep of the promised land, when giants start showing up in your life, you getting ready to possess territory. Come on, somebody. <laughs> but let me read this scripture to you, Isaiah 48, 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. Watch this. Here it comes. I have chosen thee. Where? In the furnace of affliction. The furnace is where God says, I chose you. I, I, I call many. <laughs> many are called. But few. Naraj, I'm really impressed with you. This man's been watching the broadcast from 2015. Co going on eight years, eight, eight, five, get my nine, no, nine years. Wow, impressive. Many are called, but few are chosen. Few. Because when God turns up the heat, some people can't handle it. And, and listen to me good. People can talk a good game. Who know what I'm talking? I'm telling you, folk can talk. Pastor Hill, do you agree with me? Folk can talk. A, Marie, why are you laughing? Folk can sure enough talk a good game. If you listen to them, you think they'd have been processed like 10 or 15 times. And me and Pastor Timmy, we just sit there and we smile. And we're saying in our minds, we'll, we'll find out when, when the heat turns up. <laughs> Bush crack, and I see, I see people jumping overboard like rats of a, of a sinking ship. Come on, somebody. People are fleeing. But I'm impressed with a lot of you who are able to, to, to stand in there. And Elijah gave Elisha. The, uh, I heard another man of God said, Elijah fired Elisha about four times. He couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> he laid him. He said, he said, you can go back. Elisha said, nice try. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. I'm too close. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. The anointing of God's already coming on many of you. Come on. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. You know God called you. You know, you know God have called you. You know the Holy Ghost is working in your life. You know the Holy Ghost is working in your life. You can't deny it. He's preparing you. And, and the Holy Ghost is saying to you this morning, don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose it. Don't lose your focus. Oh, Father God, we love you this morning. We honor you. We honor you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Operate on me. I got to sing that. Thank you, Jesus. Work in our lives, God. We ain't going nowhere. We're not going anywhere, Jesus. We're going to hang right in there. Sing it with me. Operate on me, dear Lord. Tell him to operate on me. Sing it. Operate on me. Take out what shouldn't be. Operate on me. Today's day one. We got 20 more days to go. Sing it. Operate on me, dear Lord. Come on, tell him to operate. Operate on me, dear Lord. Tell him to operate. Sing it, church. Operate on me. Take out what shouldn't be. Operate on me. Tell him, Jesus, lay your hands on me. Jesus, lay your hands on me. Come on, tell him to lay his hands. Jesus, lay your hands on me. Please lay your hands on me. Take out what shouldn't be. Jesus, lay your hands 
I know this is my day. I know this is my day. Chance. Come on, sing it to the king. I know this is my day. Chance. Glory to God. This is my day of chance. Lord, take out every pain. Never let me be the same. Come on, I know this is. I know this is my day of change. I know this is my day. Work on us, Jesus. This is my day of change. But take out every pain. Never let me be See, I'm not leaving like I came. Someone claim this. Because I'm not leaving like I came. Work on me, Jesus. I'm not leaving like I came. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm holding on to you. I really must break through. I'm not leaving like. Tell him I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving like. Because I'm not leaving like. I'm holding on to you. I really must break through. Kells, what's the name of that song? I'm going to wait. What's the name of it? James Cleveland singer. For an answer from you. Help me out, y'all. I forgot the name of the song. <laughs> I have so much on my mind. I'm just excited over the word of God. Help me out. Help me out, Jeff. Huh? Oh, there you go. Someone's bailing past out. I got so much on my mind. What shall I do? Come on. What? Come on. What steps? What steps should I take? What moves should I make? Oh, Lord, because I'm going to wait. Come on, sing it. I'm going to wait. Cause I'm going to wait. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for an answer from you. I have nothing to lose. Oh, Lord, cause I'm going to wait. Somebody lift your hands to heaven. I feel somebody getting the victory. I'm going to wait. Cause I'm going to wait. Glory to God. For an answer from you, I have nothing to lose, oh Lord, because I'm going to wait. You know the Bible says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Come on, because I'm going to wait. Thank you, Jesus. For an answer from you, I have nothing to lose oh lord because i'm going to wait this is for somebody because i know he'll come through i know he will i know he'll come through come on and sing it with me church with a blessing for me please lord set my soul free oh lord i know he'll come through you know the Bible says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with like wings of an eagle. They'll run and not get weary. They'll walk and not faint. Father God, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with every single person on this live broadcast. God, as we take these and set apart these 21 days to press in even harder, to turn our plates down, work in us.
that would mean Pastor Amy is the pastor's God. Work in us. Work in your people. Transform us, God. We give you permission. What needs to come out of our lives, take it out. What needs to be removed, move it, God. What needs to be cleansed, cleanse it, Lord. What needs to be crucified, crucify it, Lord. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your way. Not our will. But let your perfect will be done. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for bringing us to Gilgal. We thank you, God. Don't leave us the same. Confront us. Correct us. Teach us. Reprove, rebuke, whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes, Lord, to help us to become that person that you want us to be. Not our will, but let your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. I surrender. Listen, we want to give someone an opportunity to come to Jesus. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He loves you this morning. And he's calling you to himself. He cares about you. He died on Calvary Cross and he rose again. He is the Messiah. He is the Savior. He is the King of the Jews, the King of the world. His name is Jesus. And without any further hesitation, I want you to bow your head in reverence to God and pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. They buried you in a borrowed and put you in a borrowed tomb, but on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand, and soon and very soon you are coming again. From this day, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and writing my name down in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. If you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, let me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the family of God. Welcome into God's kingdom. We want you to type in the live chat wherever you're watching from, on Facebook, YouTube, through the ministry app, Zoom. We want you to type in the live chat, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. And we ask you to do this because Jesus said, if you be ashamed, of me down here on this earth. I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father and the holy angels. I want you to type in the live chat if you just surrendered your life to Christ. I want you to type it right now. Amen? Come on and sing it with me. I surrender and I surrender all. Come on, sing it. All to thee, and all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. I see some people are typing, I surrendered. Someone's typing, I rededicate my life to Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, keep singing that. I surrender. I surrender. Thank you, Jesus. All to thee, and all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. 
Come on and sing it with me. And I Thank you, Jesus. All to thee. Listen, we created a booklet for you. It's called First Steps in a New Direction. It's called it's a Salvation Booklet, First Steps in a New Direction. We encourage you to scan that QR code. Download that booklet. Maxine, welcome into the family of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scan that QR code and download that booklet and begin to read it. We encourage you to talk to God on a daily basis. It's called prayer. John 14, 14, Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. You've got to talk to him on a daily basis. Pour your heart out to him. He's listening to you. It'll be amazing what happens when we talk to God. Prayers are answered. Tables are turned. Jericho walls come tumbling down. We also encourage you to download the ministry app because we have several free translations of the Bible in that app. We want you to pick a translation that easy for you to understand, that's easy for you to understand and begin to read the gospel of the book of John, one of the most simplest books in the entire Bible to read. John said, this, this book have been written that you might believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that through believing in him, you might have life. And also, in our ministry app, we have over 3,000 videos. We have morning prayer broadcasts and uh, the rebroadcasts of our live services. That'll be a tremendous blessing to you. There's so much to learn. And I believe God will use that to disciple you and equip you and teach you many things and also raise you up. Can someone open your mouth and say, don't lose your focus? Come on. I Say it. I won't lose my focus. I ain't losing it. I came too far. Come on. And I surrender all, all to thee and all. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And I surrender. I surrender all to you. I surrender. <laughs> Is that right? I give myself. Myself away. Come on, sing it with us, church. I give myself. I give myself away. So you. I give myself away. Glory to God. I give myself away. I surrender all, and I surrender all to you. Listen, I don't want to just end like this. I want to give, we have some of our Zoom family, and faith, all of these are faithful people who have been following the ministry for a long time. Would, is any one of you, anyone, doesn't matter, would any, does any, any of you would like to share what you got from today's message? Any of you, Kim? You you look like you you look like you want to turn on your mic, Kim. All right, bring Kim in here. Kim is a faithful partner, faithful, and that woman can show enough work in altar. North Carolina been on my mind several places. Kim, talk to us. Oh, I can't hear you, Kim. Let me see. I wonder what's happening there. <laughs> oh no, I still can't hear you, Kim. Yeah, it's saying your mic is on, but we can't hear you. Don't worry. While you work on it, I'll give someone else. Someone else want to share? Okay, try, try again, Kim. Wait, Kels. Hold on. Andrea, Tasca, Jeanette from Canada, zero degrees. You can keep that up there, sis. 
minus 13. I'm like, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm good down here in Texas. I'll keep my 13. <laughs> someone else, someone else want to share? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm a false some of y'all. <laughs> Ask Niraj, bring Niraj in there. Come on, let India in the house. <laughs> let New Delhi in the house. <laughs> Come on, New Delhi. Come on, New Delhi. Talk to me, Niraj. Hello, Pastor. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, well, Pastor, uh, according to India, it's like 12 uh, 20 in the night, I would say. I, I, 12 I 20 in the night. <laughs> yeah. I feel very blessed the evening. I brought uh, Trish and Charlene sitting next to me. Everything is uh, good enough. And though the weather is kind of freezing, uh, uh, the weather is too cool. So it's, it's too cool. So uh, we are inside our homes and uh, we are using the heaters this day. How about you? <laughs> we, we, we are inside too, brother. It's very cool here too, Naraj. What you got out of today's message, Naraj? Uh, well, this particular message has opened my eyes. Uh, I have been fighting battles in my life, and uh, I know that uh, God is equipping me and is uh, getting me ready to move move me to a next level. And I have uh, learned a lot uh, from this particular message, I would say. And uh, all I have to do from my end is to wait and just, you know, lean on the word of the God and believe uh, on the God and believe on myself as well. Then only I will be able to, you know, move ahead and prosper in my life along my wife and my son, Krish. Amen. And he is going to work in your life mighty, Naraj. You can't, you can't Indeed. sit, you can't receive and, and you can't receive that much messages from God and be a partaker of those kind of anointed services and not receive an impartation. It's impossible, amen? The anointing you sit under is the anointing that will begin to move in your life and intensify and continue to increase. Are you listening to me? Until God launches you to do what he calls you to do, and you are faithful, <laughs> and we love you, and you know we appreciate you and your wife and your son. <laughs> God bless you, amen. Thank Come you on. so much, sir. Hey man, let's Thank give the rise, let's give the rise a hand. New Delhi is in the house. Kim, are you ready yet? I'm ready. Are oh, you ready? Yeah, I thought we were going to have to anoint your mic with oil. <laughs> yes, <I'll. laughs> Come on, Kim, talk to us. What you got today, Kim? Oh um, well, I always get a lot from your teachings. Um, but most of the time for me, it's always confirmation. Um, because I've been praying for I just to not lose focus. And so it just hits home and um I know that I am called and um, I just, the path to get there <clears throat> is you stress about <clears throat> this. Don't want to lose focus until the Lord leaves you where you need to go. Yes. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's all right. So it's just, um, just stand on track. Like I said, your word is always mostly it's confirmation for me. This is where I, I'm supposed to be and um, I'm not leaving. You are the man of God I'm supposed to be under. I wish I could be in Texas. Lord, if it's for me to move to Texas, I will be there. But um, are you doing, you're doing a good job right yeah. from there in North Carolina. Yeah. I'm almost, well, afraid. Right, well, I'm almost I'm saying, afraid for people to move now. <laughs> I'm saying, Lord, <laughs> let Stay me in have North it. Carolina, Kim. Stay in North We seem to get along better through the computer. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. I'm, I'm here following. I can't find what I'm getting here. And no, the I church is here. And it's, it's a burden. It I'm like burden. So no, I, it's, I hear you. Yeah. So. And Kim, North Carolina has been on our minds too. And I will, we will, we, we'll do some, we, 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 we have to, we've, we've got to. I'll talk more about it later. I just don't want to say too much here. But we have to visit some of the places like North Carolina, New York, yeah. Florida. We, we got to make it happen this year. Yeah. It you will can't, happen I can't, this it, year. Where I'm at, it, it's, it's the Norton is lost. It's what I'm where I've been, where I'm at, and what I'm looking for. The churches just don't have it, and it's hard. It's I, I hear you, and I'm I've been struggling to find a, a, a church home, but it's hard. So I'm just Good letting morning. the Lord continue to lead me. So. You'll just you'll just lead the MHC E Church yeah. family. So. Just hang right in there, Kim. <laughs> How about that? We'll we'll make it even more official. But we yeah. we bless you and we thank you, Kim. We appreciate you, and you know we don't take you for granted. And don't be surprised if you don't see us in North Carolina this year. Amen. Wouldn't Amen. that be awesome? Come right to your It'll town. Be. 
<laughs> awesome. And you sure can work an altar, Kim. <laughs> you sure know how to work an altar. <laughs> I grew up Pentecostal, so we was in church all day and night. So that's what, that's what I'm talking and, about. Uh, that's that's my background. It's hard to find that. It's it's yeah, it's hard to find that that old time. <laughs> I'm young, but I'm I got that old time in me. Uh-huh. I'm, so, I'm, I'm 30 something, but I got that old time anointing until yeah. I repent later. <laughs> well, I'm not 30 something, but yeah, I'm but lying. I'm old school. I'm, I'm 50. <laughs> Pastor Sean is 50, about to be 51 next month. I'm trying yeah. to catch up with Edward, I guess. But God mm-hmm. bless you, Kim. We love you and yeah. appreciate you. Someone else, someone else want to shout? Someone else? Andre, oh, everyone's getting stirred up. Oh, oh Lord, the June is in the house. <laughs> Canada, here we come. <laughs> come on, talk to us, Andrea and Edwin. Amen. I just praise God for the message today. As, as you know, it's, it's very on point and timely because as the, you know, as the Lord is trying to elevate you to another, to another level, you know, I know you've heard the saying for every level, there's another devil. Yeah. And sometimes he will try to stir up things that yes, he will. <laughs> you thought that you had already buried <laughs> and that it had been put to rest but I, but I know and I recognized the attack of Satan and and I just thank God for it I, I I'm I'm Amen. in my Gilgal and I'm going to get the victory and I, yes. I refuse to let it take a long time I am yes. ready to move forward in Christ <laughs> Jesus because I know that he has great things and callings on my life yes. and I'm not going to be dissuaded or I won't get upset. I won't be dismayed. I'm going to go all the way for the Lord. And there's yes. nothing that the devil can throw at me that he will be able to stop me with because I know that I am more than a conqueror through Christ yes. Jesus. That's what I got. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Yes. Edward, Mr. EJ Senior? <laughs> I'm just in agreement, like as, like Kim uh, just spoke on as far as you know, confirmation. Every time yeah. you speak, it's just confirmation. Yes. Confirmation. Stay focused. Stay focused. Because they're, like you say, oh, they're going to try. Weapons, you know, going to form, but they're not yes. going to prosper. So, Come on. yeah, Come, you're going to that on, next level and there's no stopping. There's no turning back. And I have a made up mind to go all the way with Christ. Amen. I'm walking with Jesus all the way. So Amen. there's no turning back. And like you say, just confirmation. Amen. You Thank know, you. Ed- Edward and Andrea, <laughs> that right there, the secret is if you just keep following when, when god yes. puts someone in your life no matter what happens if you just keep following that's the secret to being made jesus told his apostles follow me and i'll make you so god isn't asking us to do it ourselves because we can't we can't do it he said apart from me you can do nothing but if we j- the secret to being made is to keep following the, the, Amen. That's, yes. the se- that's the secret right there is the uh, can we just chat for a minute it, the, the, the greatest secret is your ability to just to stay in there and to hang on and to keep following because if you keep following jesus is gonna make you into that person remember when 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 the apostle peter those there was a time in the storm jesus said how is it that you have no faith they, they had no faith in the storm but guess what, saints? They kept, they hung in there. They hung in there. And then another time, Peter actually walked on water, and Jesus said, how, oh, ye of little faith. But wait a minute. At least his faith is growing. He had no faith, but now at least he got a little. He's got a little. <laughs> yes. Hello, <laughs> hello, somebody. He got something. So, so if you just hang in there, and this is, and do not. Do not compare yourself to nobody else on this broadcast. Everyone is at a different level, and God is going to minister to you where you are at. Don't try to be nobody else. You just do you. Do you, Edwin. Do you, Andrew. Yes. You just be you. You just you just be you. Be comfortable being you. Don't let nobody make you feel less. Uh, 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 uh. You just hang on in there. Because mm-hmm. as long as you stick in there, e- even if all hell breaking loose, if you just keep coming back and hang in there, guess what? God is going to make you into a mighty man of God, make you into a mighty woman of God. He is going to raise you up, and he is going to use you to touch nations. The secret is the ability to hang in there. Right, right, Lacorna? 
right? Look, yes, look. yes. You, you, can, you got to hang. You that, that that was the that was the secret that I learned being around Apostle Carol, and I was an armor bearer. I, I, you got to. Hang. I mean, folk were getting mad and leaving left, right, and center. But but I kept. I realized, uh uh-uh, uh, this woman got what I need. I ain't going nowhere. So 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 just just keep on. I want to give someone else a chance because this is sweet. I, we love. We actually love hearing from you guys. Someone else want to share? Edward and Andrea, thank you. Thank you too, Kim. Someone else want to share? Anybody else just wave at us? Oh, look at my little buddy Moses. Moses, you know we love you, buddy. You know we love you. Pastor Eva, you you hungry to say something. Bring Pastor Eva in here. Jeanette, you want to say something all the way from Canada? I'll bring you right in after Pastor Eva. But bring Pastor Eva in here and then bring Jeanette in here. I want to give our partners and our E Church family a chance. Go for it, Pastor Eva. Talk to us. <laughs> Thank you so much for the word, as usual. Very uh, timely word, on point. It always resonates with me from where I'm coming from. And I know that right now I'm in my Gilga, a place where Amen. I'm supposed to grow. And I'm growing spiritually since I joined the church. It's a place of healing for me coming from the past 2023. I'm not going to talk about it. It's a place of new beginnings for me, yes. miracles. Yeah. It's a place where I'm rolling away the flesh. There's some things that I used to do in 2023 where I used to serve before. So I know God brought me here for a reason. When I left my old church, I was in a furnace of affliction. <laughs> and I thought, really, I thought it is just the woman of God, but I didn't know that God was taking me to another place to be, yeah. where, to be here to the Miracle Healing Center. So I just thank God. For 2024, I believe God is doing great things for the church, for everybody, all of us that are following you uh, under your anointing, of uh, 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 Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy. So amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Amy. You know we love you. The Malawians are in the house. Amen. All the way from Malawi. <laughs> Miracle <laughs> Crusade in Malawi. We can rent a stadium. We, we'll do it one day, Pastor Eva. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Jeanette, faithful Jeanette, all the way from Canada with her mixed kids, <laughs> her mixed grandkids. Hi, talk, good afternoon, everybody. Talk to it's us, Jeanette. Hello, Pastor Sean, Pastor Amy, and your wonderful kids. And, Me too. Um, uh, Mr. Jeffrey. <laughs> thank you. You know we all love you, Jeanette. Talk to uh, us. Thank you. Listen, this is little prophet Isaiah. All and right. I tell you, and this is little, little Leandro over here. Okay. And when this little guy here, I remember one time I was eating breakfast, and I think I told uh, Mr. Jeffrey this story. And uh, we were eating breakfast, and he started crying. And I was watching your video at the takeout in the patio. And... I, I, I said, let me let him listen to the word. Okay, six months. I take the phone away. He starts crying because he didn't see you printing. I put it back and he stopped crying. <laughs> so you have a great effect on babies and children. And it's so amazing to see uh, baby Moses. And um, I was thinking about this morning how prophetically accurate you are, Pastor Sean. And um, I was thinking about it's popped in my mind. It was incredible. I remember watching the online service and you had said there was something about um, you were engaged and then something happened and all of a sudden it, the, the, the fiance disappeared or whatever. And yes. look, look at the prophetic word in motion and beautiful baby Moses and their marriage. I mean, yes. I was, it was on my mind. I said, that's just, I mean, God bless them. God bless baby Moses. But I want to tell you, I always try to email you. It's minus 15 below. So I have my big thick sweater on here. Um, but uh, it's freezing. And Pastor Sean, we need you up here and your team because I'm telling you, Canada needs it. We are frozen. We're frozen here in winter, but we're frozen in the church. And I tell you, I sit there and I think, good heavens. Uh, you know, I don't want to get bored. I love the pastors. God bless them. I says, I need to find myself down to Texas. I said, I have to go. You know, I mean, I, have, I, I mean, God have mercy. And I told my daughter, we're going to go down uh, to uh, to McKinney, Texas one day, but I'm going to bring my running shoes on. Pastor Sean, I'll be running up and down, but I'm not coming to the auditorium. I'm coming to the new building in Jesus' name because it's coming. That building's coming. And I'll bring my running shoes. I mean, I won't do backflips because then you'll have to pray for me in case I get hurt, right? <laughs> it's, you know, uh, <laughs> 
you know, I get carried away sometimes, but today's message, and it was incredible. And I had my mom, who's 90, bless her heart, she was listening. Wow. And I had said, this is church, come on now. And she comes from um, Scotland, a little village where ministers would ride bikes. And it was definitely <laughs> not like her <laughs> preaching. It was very conservative, very, just, you know. So uh, we all had a great message. The little babies here, little toddlers running around and just listening to the word of God. And it's just on time. And it's it's a great honor to to um, to be a part of what you're doing, to pray for you all and your yes. team and to pray for your children. I mean, it's such a blessing to see them serving God. Amen. What ministry do we have every day, 24-7 days a week, and seeing your beautiful children serving God and giving it their best for Jesus? There is nothing like it. So I know I'm I'm always drawn to the ministry, drawn and praying for you all. And just it's so important to just keep keep plugging away and yes. dedicate our finances to where yes. we're getting fed. And the 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 church I do attend. I don't really get fed there because I'm beyond what they're doing, but I get fed here. And it's no matter what trials and tribulations we have financially, we can't afford not to give. Amen. Amen. We can't afford to 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 not sow into where we're being fed and where you guys are, have blessed me personally beyond. That's why I always say thank you. I always say the emails. Thank you. Love you guys. I'm praying for you. I'm a partner for life. Amen. And you bless me personally and just. I can't wait to testify, but I'm coming with my running shoes into your new building soon. In so today, Jesus name. keep focused because my idea will come out of court this week. Not, not this week. Well, maybe I'm prophesying that, but this year. <laughs> and when I do, I'll call your office and I'll tell mom Jeanette from Canada. I'm going to do backflips. I'm too excited. We got to get to hold the pastor Sean. Tell him the good news because it's coming. Amen. It's Amen. coming. And I'll be Come testifying on. soon. Thank you for this opportunity. We Sorry, I don't want to have Jeanette. verbal diarrhea, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's give God praise for Jeanette, man. We love Jeanette. Jeanette is one of our faithful partners all the way from Canada. And uh, I believe, keep praying, Jeanette, because some a church is wanting to invite us up there into Canada this year. So just be praying. And I, we have a ton of Canadian partners and followers up there. We'd love to come to Canada. But listen, saints, we love all the Canada, Canada. We can't can't miss Canada, North Carolina, New York, Florida. Lord have mercy. God's working. We love all of you so much. And Jeanette, some you, you see Jeanette, she's one of those partners. And we have some of them, some of our partners who whenever something's going on in the ministry, they normally send a prophetic word and God you because these are people who are praying for us, amen? And it's normally right on target normally right on target we appreciate all of you kim faithful been been i mean for years you guys been standing with the ministry supporting we we love all of y'all we don't take y'all lightly at all and mhc physical church family here and jeanette i agree with you we are believing god for our building Let, let's just pray for this building before we come we, we got to and can i say this let me tell you all this just in the last couple of days, I'll be walking in my home, you know, going into my office and stuff to pray and study. And I, I mean, I, I told Pastor Amy, I said, babes, I think God's really get, want to do this thing. You know, I pray to God it'd be this year, but it's going to be soon because it, every, every uh, so often when I go to go in my office and sit down, I'm just inside the building looking at it. The Holy Ghost just, it's, it's called a trance. It's an open vision. Who know what I'm talking about? I see the instruments set up on the platform. I can hear the music. And I'm like, then I come right back. Come on, somebody. Who know what I'm talking about? When the Holy Ghost starts showing you things to come. That's what he says at the end of John 16, 13. So that, uh, it happened to me several times this week, about two or three times. I was sitting in my office, and then bam, I'm looking at, I'm seeing on the inside of this building that God want to give us. Come on, somebody. Let's lift our hands to heaven and say, God, do it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you cannot lie. You said if we come together, if any two of us come as touching whatever we ask, you said you're going to do it for us. Lord, we pray for our own building. Give Miracle Healing Center Church their own building, their own land, their own property, Give it to us by a miracle. There is no case too hard for you. Father God, we humble ourselves. We lean on you. We depend on you. 
give us our own building so we won't have to be setting up and breaking down every Sunday. It's beginning to get tiresome and wear my family out. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. This is according to your will. Give us our own place. Shock us. Blow our minds. You said you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Lead us to that building that you're allowing me to see the inside of. Lead us, guide us, order our steps, shock us, give us our own building in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Nothing is impossible with you. In Jesus' name, somebody put your hands together and give him praise. Our God is for us. Come on, we, go, we want to close with that. Go for it real fast. If our God is for us, what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? Then what could stand If our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? Then what could stand? Our God is greater. Come on, see. Our, our God, God is greater, greater and our God, God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other, and our God is healer. He's awesome in power. Our God, our God, our God is greater, and our God is stronger. And God, you are. If our God and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? Then what could stand against? Is greater, and our God is stronger, and God, you are higher than any other. And our God is healer, He's awesome in power. Our God, our God. Saints, we love all of you, we appreciate you, we'll never take you for granted. And Marie, bring my little buddy up here, Marie. Let me see baby Moses for a second. Jeanette, thank you for mentioning Brandon and Marie because you were on that broadcast. Look at him. Look at look at baby Moses. That's Pastor Sean's little buddy right there. Look how happy he is. Where's the marshmallow, Marie? Okay. You going to work? God bless you. Okay. God bless you, baby Moses. What you eating, son? You know Pastor Sean love you. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> We love all of you. We love all of you, saints. We appreciate all of you. God bless all of you. Take good care of yourselves. We'll see you on Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central St Standard Time. And on next week, Sunday, we'll be back in the school. It's freezing today. We, 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 we weren't doing that this morning. Amen. We love all of you. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. We invite you to join our new church, Miracle Healing Center, on Sundays at 10 a.m. at the Cockrell Middle School in McKinney, Texas with Pastor Sean and Amy Pinder. We welcome people of all ages and backgrounds to come and experience God's love and power, as well as join us as we fulfill the Great Commission, preaching the gospel to the lost and demonstrating God's power. Plan your visit today 
Visit MiracleHealingCenter.net. We can't wait to meet you. Never forget, we love you. Take advantage of these other videos here. They will be a blessing to you, a strength. My God, they will increase your faith.